Yeah, it's just hard to fathom what happened here in Belltown. I'm told the couple, they own this restaurant. They've been here for about six years. And now tonight, two signs are posted on the door. One that reads, closed until further notice. The other that says, we will miss your beautiful smile. A tragic loss for the city of Seattle. You couldn't ask for a sweeter, friendlier couple. Police say the shooting was a random attack in broad daylight. A husband and wife gunned down, taking the life of Ina Kwan, who was 32 weeks pregnant. Her child was delivered at the hospital after the shooting and died later that day. I'm getting tired of wearing the T-shirt that says, you know, our thoughts and prayers are with whomever. And now it's, you know, it's, it's our community. In court, the suspect refused to come into the courtroom. He's being held without bail on charges of murder, assault, and unlawful possession of a firearm. I think I should probably carry mace, but mace is not going to protect you against a rifle. Police say the suspect was found shortly after and was yelling, I did it, I did it. He told officers he saw a weapon in the couple's car and started shooting. And it could have happened to any of us, so it's just unsettling and nobody deserves this. And I don't think enough is being done in this city to protect us. Two growing memorials now sit to remember Quan, her family, and the legacy she leaves behind. I'm just going to be praying for them. That's all I can do. There's just so many lives like are going to be devastated by this loss. And as for who the suspect is right now, we are not naming him until he is formally charged. Court documents tell us that he's a convicted felon who recently came to Seattle from Illinois. Live in Belltown, Hannah Knowles, Common News.